You know, I'll bet a lot of people are using Google to find Paul McCartney's latest album. From the Fab Four to number one, the renaissance of Sir Paul is our first story trending now. I just want to know. something the former Beatle can be proud of. He's had eight solo albums reach number one on the Billboard 200 album chart, but his latest called Egypt Station is the first to premiere in the number one spot. Everyone was like jumping in taxis, it was mad. Unbelievable. <laughs> the last time the 76 year old had an album hit the top of Billboard was back in 1982 with Tug of War, the one with his classic Stevie Wonder duet, Ebony and Ivory. Ebony and Ivory This. He released the album on cassette and it's already sold out. But not sold out? Well, yet. His Freshen Up tour begins in the U.S. next year and rock and rolls through cities like Phoenix, New Orleans, and Fort Wayne, Indiana. Well, they be together, and together they will make it true. From a man who just keeps on rocking to a restaurant drumming up some true mastery in their food. Our Arby's, the art of the sandwich, is at number two. Why do people still think Arby's is just roast beef when we have 17 other sandwiches? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's all those 60-foot signs that say Arby's roast beef sandwich is delicious. And they also create art with their sandwiches. Check out these sandwich portraits they've been tweeting of famous faces from Lara Croft to American Idol's David Archuleta and a truce with their competitor Wendy's who got her own portrait with an Arby's twist. And Arby's is really piling it on this month. Check this. They've added a hotline that'll help you pick the right sandwich for any occasion, even your wedding anniversary. If you're celebrating your wedding anniversary, press 2 for your sandwich. The Reuben, sliced in half for you two lovebirds. And for the true Arby's lovers, you can get a free tattoo this Saturday at Port City Tattoo in Long Beach, California. Options include a panther with a loaded Italian sandwich in his mouth. Wow! Panthers tattooed on your body? Great. Panthers on board a Southwest flight? Not so much. But a miniature horse, somehow, that's okay. <laughs> Mini ponies flying high is at number three. Behind every seat is a story. Behind every story is the reason for transparency. Southwest has become clear with their emotional support animal policy, limiting it to cats and dogs. But if it's a trained service animal, they'll also welcome miniature horses. Welcome aboard. Now to get a real life My Little Pony on the plane, you have to prove it's a credible service animal. Just putting a vest on it, it's not gonna do it. You must also provide verbal assurance that the animal is trained. But the airline draws the line at unusual or exotic species, so please leave your pigs and peacocks at home. Okay, so I hope I get to see a mini horse the next time I fly. Just maybe not seated next to it. <laughs> and that's what's trending now.